Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, according to reports and according to the U.S. Sun, Wendy Williams' son, Kevin, charged $100,000 to her Amex card before Wells Fargo froze her accounts. Now, Kevin has released a statement, and he gave this statement to the U.S. Sun. He said, I vehemently deny any allegations of unauthorized use of my mother's Amex card. This is a false narrative perpetuated to justify freezing her accounts. So... Not sure what's wrong or what's right here, but, you know, charging that money. But how can they say it's wrong if, if just like my daughter uses my card and I say, yo, go buy this or buy that. And if there was a problem, then I would say it was a problem. Wendy would have said it's a problem. That's still her money. That's her family's money. They can't decide who uses that money and who doesn't. According to this quote unquote source, you know, there were several red flags ahead of the accounts, accounts being frozen. That was one of them. And they said that Kevin was demanding that Wendy's advisor pay the bill instead of Wendy, this source claimed. Kevin Jr. is saying that's not true. Now, don't get it twisted. Wendy don't yeah, look I, I highly doubt but, it. Hmm? I highly doubt he did that without her permission. Yeah. It doesn't I seem highly right. doubt yeah, that. That doesn't seem right. All right. Now, Usher is responding to Diddy's R&B is dead proclamation. And here is uh, what he had to say during an interview with Bevelations. Or even like Puff saying, you know, R&B is dead. He sounds nuts to me. <laughs> it, so- it, so- it sounds crazy. I'm looking at what I think is getting ready to happen between Puff and JD, you know, uh, in Atlanta to celebrate the music. Yo, y'all don't live without R&B. Neither one of y'all. Nope. So, so, you know, yeah, yeah, if it's a thirst trap moment or either, you know what I'm saying, uh, you trolling, yo, man, keep that shit in the comment section. I'm not f***ing with none of that. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Usher. I should get spicy. Hey, listen. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. I, I, I agree with Usher. You can't declare a whole genre uh, of music dead just because... You know, your particular single may not be doing what you want it, want it to do. Like, I know Diddy's promoting his record uh, with Bryson Tiller. Correct. I don't know how it's doing or how it's not doing, but uh, it feels like, you know, it's just promotion for, for that single. But to me. Pro- but the problem with that is, is that record, in my opinion, ain't necessarily R&B. It's more poppy to me. It's not really. It's really? Not, uh, poppy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very up-tempo. It's, I don't know. It doesn't well, seem- that, well, you know what? That, well, coming from a DJ, that's a great uh, that's a great thing to say, and, and I, I would say that to Puff, if, you know, if I had a conversation with him, I'd be like, "Look, you know, you saying R&B is dead, but you don't necessarily have an R&B record out just because you have an R&B single on a record doesn't make it R&B." Whoa! Yeah, I think Puff cut his mic off. Puff definitely cut his mic off. I All didn't right. even think he was on Revolt anymore. What just happened? I don't know. <laughs> All right, and Capitol Records has cut ties with that AI rapper we just played for y'all yesterday, FN Mika. Now, Envy, you said it was trash. Mm-hmm. And according to people, the statement... Yeah, you back, Charlamagne. Go ahead. Yes, uh, Capitol I, Records... I, 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 they just cut me off. ...said in a statement provided to Complex, we offer our deepest apologies to the black community for our insensitivity in signing this project without asking enough questions about equity and the creative process behind it. We thank those who have reached out to us with constructive feedback in the past couple of days. Your input was invaluable as we came to the decision to end our association with the project. Here is... Uh, the music, this AI rapper, was an amalgamation of gross stereotypes, appropriative mannerism that derived from black artists, complete with slurs infused in lyrics. That's what this open letter to Capitol Records said. The artist was Takashi 69 It seems like they were playing off of Takashi. Play, play a clip of it. Mm-hmm. Well, can I ask a question? How do you, how, well, first of all, how do you drop an AI rapper? Do you just turn the computer off? Is that, that number one? Yes. That's what you do? Yep. Reboot. And I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm, what, I got to reboot? No, I'm saying you reboot the. Never no, mind. Okay. Just keep talking. Oh, and and I'm and I'm so I'm so confused because like I saw it and I mean it looks just racially ambiguous to me. I didn't think he was white or black. I just thought it was AI. But when you say that, envy, I'm like, oh, that was a a, a six nine clone, I guess. That's what it sounded like. And and he's AI, so he's mimicking a rapper. So he had all the stereotypical tropes of a rapper in this era, right? The chains, the dreads, the mm-hmm. tats. So who's so who's who's really at fault here? Is it the, the the people who created the AI, or is it you know the the rappers he's mirroring? 
Because if he can't use it, six nine can't use it either, right? So where's the petition to um say <laughs> six nine can't use the N word or any of these guys? These I don't know. I don't even know what you call these people. I'm about to say racially ambiguous. I don't know what what, what is six nine's race. He's Mexican. I think he's Mexican. So so nobody who's black, if you're a rapper, if you're you can't use the N word if you're not black. What do you Just mean? ask it. No, I mean I mean it is what it is. It, I don't think it's right. Like, you know, what's a slur for a Mexican person? If a black person says that, then they cancel, then it's over, then it's a wrap. But I'm I, listen, I'm with you, I'm but with I'm just saying why are we not keep why are we not keeping the same energy for the real rappers? If you're if you're telling me that this is a clone of six nine, which now that well, you said I can see it. it how come like people it, aren't writing letters? Yeah, that's how not come what people it's aren't supposed, writing letters to the labels to, That's not what it's supposed to be. That's what it sounds like. But they're not saying this is a clone of six nine. We're just noticing oh. that as they put together this virtual rapper based off of all of these things, it does sound like 6 9 Regardless, it sounds trash to me. Yeah. And, and, and listen, I'm not about to sit here and defend the AI rapper because I truly don't care, but an AI rapper using the N-word isn't because he's racist. It's because whoever created it sells. the AI is, mi is mimicking rappers. And Correct. using the N-word is what rappers do in their music. Well, so if you don't like it yeah. to me... Yeah, so if you don't like it, to me, this is a classic example of, of, of the mirror effect. Like, damn, you might be looking at what you do. Yeah, I mean, and maybe you need to change. I'm sure the AI rapper, what they did was got all the information of what sells, you know, dreads, tats mm -hmm. on the face, the type of music that this, that, and the other, and they mimic what they believe sells. This, this, like they this show the language, him getting this the, this the language rappers use. They Correct. show him getting beaten by a cop in a jail cell because he won't snitch. See? You know, they also have him... Um, Fabricating police brutality. That's what people think hip hop is, or what yeah. our culture is. That's our fault. They show him getting beat, beaten mm -hmm. up by a cop. That's our fault. That's the culture's fault because mm -hmm. the culture has accepted that for so long. So now people think that's what you know hip hop is. So that's what they're mimicking. Right. That's our fault. It's the, it's the mirror effect. If you don't like it, you gotta take a good hard look at the whole culture. Well, take, you gotta demand the whole culture change. Well, take whatever you got out your mouth, bro. You got say what are you chewing on? Man, shut up. Shut up. See, oh. if they did an AIU, it'd just be gay. And you would too. You would be on my back. <laughs> <laughs> or I'd be on your back. Just, just, be, just be a gay envy. Like, well, that's not really gay envy. That's just envy. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. We got front page news next. What are we talking about? Yes, we'll talk about a former Troy University football player who has filed a lawsuit against an ex-teammate and three coaches. We'll tell you what happened to him. It's awful. All right, now we were talking that uh, R&B is dead. A lot of people haven't heard the Diddy and Bryson Tiller record. We'll play a little bit of it now, and then we'll get into front page news. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.